How's everybody doing today? And we are back with episode nine of the Royals franchise. If you guys want to see some more of this series, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about today's video. So really quickly, today's poll, let's get it out of the way. Top right hand corner, there's that eye icon. Go and click it so you guys can get involved in today's poll. The draft, we all know in real life, the Royals selected Bobby Witt Jr., a shortstop. And it just so happens that we selected with our first pick in the draft about, you know, we, we, we picked a second baseman. So do you guys want me to take Benny Abe and edit him to be Bobby Witt Jr. once he joins the squad, of course. So when you look at his stats, obviously Bobby Witt's not a switch hitter. He's not from Japan and, you know, he doesn't have like these stats. But I feel like we can mess with the stats a little bit. Make him a shortstop, make him look like Bobby Witt Jr., and then we have Bobby Witt Jr. joining the squad. So if you guys want that, top right hand corner, go and click the eye icon, get into the vote. Yes, make Bobby Witt Jr., no, keep it Benny Abe. So there is that. Also, as you can see, we are in the month of September, and you're probably wondering where the month of August went. So on screen right now, I'm going to show you what happened in the month of August. Um, the last recording I did didn't have audio the game didn't have audio so the, the game that we played in the month of august would have been a completely silent game um there was still me talking but the game was silent so baseball without the sound is just kind of boring and i didn't want to have that for you guys so there we go as you guys can see the month of august is currently playing on screen we actually had a pretty solid month um which works pretty good for us because we needed one after we had a rough month of july so after the month of august you guys can see we are five and a half games above the indians so we're really pushing for that lead in the central and we have a good lead we don't play the indians again so we can't really extend it any further we just have to have a good month of september to really solidify our spot in the playoffs so with that being said it's the last month of the season we're gonna find out if we made the playoffs this season or not so ooh, this is this one's gonna be a tough game like i i want to make it a tough opponent um i'm kind of thinking the astros we've already played the twins um i don't have we played the white Sox? i don't think we've played the white Sox. we might play the white Sox. that could be an interesting one um yeah let's play the white Sox because they're a divisional opponent let's do that let's play the white Sox today let's get into it all righty so you guys can see our lineups basically untouched everything's the same looking at the white Sox lineup they have tim anderson yomor sanchez abreu polka eloy jimenez yonder alonza Johan moncada wellington castillo and Luri garcia our pitching matchup brad keller reynaldo lopez reynaldo lopez era is looking pretty nice 3.05 Ooh, okay so let's hop into this game i'm pretty excited about it it's a good divisional rivalry kind of going on in real life you know you have the tim anderson getting thrown at you got tim anderson pimping home runs against the royals um but we're not we're not going to be allowing tim anderson to take us deep today so we're going to be rocking our black unis those socks are rocking their kind of their alternates now that used to be their throwbacks all right two two to our shortstop and oh he got a ride on that one that's going to get down in the gap stay in the park come on no, it goes over the wall. That would have been a triple. It is a ground rule double. I'm not going to complain about the hit. It's just if that stays in the park, that's a triple for sure. I thought maybe he hit it hard enough off the bat that it was going to be a home run. Falls just before the warning track and goes over the wall. Oh, that was a that was a good swing right there. Gets us into scoring position. That looks like it's going to get down. I don't understand why Mondesi wasn't running. We're going to send Merrifield to second because they threw it home. And we got second and third with one out. Yeah, I'm not too sure why Mondesi wasn't running right away. You could tell that that was getting down. There was no way Lurie Garcia was getting to that. So rather than getting the RBI, which would have been nice, but it makes it two to two. So Mondesi on third with Merrifield on second. Come on. They don't go home with it. It Oh, he throws it off the bag, and he still gets beat. Lucas Duda, what are you doing? Hustle down the line. <laughs> oh, man. So, Yuan Moncada made a bad throw to first. 
Abreu gets pulled off the bag, and you still get beat at the bag. Oh, that's all right. The run does score. I'm not going to complain about that. Merrifield still on second with Josh Bell up. Josh Bell hits it to left field. Is Eloy going to get there? He is. And one run scores. So two or not in that specific pl play at that moment. But one run scores in the inning after two hits. And uh, we're going to leave a runner stranded at second. 3-1 now. We just got to throw some strikes. There we, there we go. Worked it back full. 3-2 count. We'll go back to the slider. Let's see if we can get it on the inside part of the zone. If we do, that'd be great. Not down the middle. We're going to need a good play here in left field. Can he do it? Alex Gordon running into the wall. There we go. Nice little play there. Slider caught way too much of the zone. That was uh, whew, that was dangerous. That could have been bad. But that was a good play out there in left. Out of a hitter. Nice little change up. Throws it down the third base line. Bunt and Dozier doesn't even pick it up. So a nice bunt by Yolmer. Gets them their first base runner of the day. Tried to power up a meter. He just decided to throw it to third. Fastball. Are they going to send him home? Will they send him home? No. But it's first and third with two outs. Fastball a little bit too high in the zone. Allows Polka to push it through the short and third gap right there. Now Eloy's up. We're in a, we're in a bit of a spot. Def after we started, you know, pretty good. We got two outs. Guy on... First, and that's that's the game tying run right there. Oh man. Ugh. And uh Eloy Jimenez ties the game. Now we got Yonder Alonso up. And he's gonna fly out to right. Soler make the play. He does, and that's the inning. So can we actually hold on to a lead for once? It looks like we can't. Look, it just looks like we can't. And we strike out. Oh, all three batters go down swinging. Okay, Wellington Castillo swinging first pitch. And uh, I thought I missed my spot. I thought that was going to be way inside. But it turns out to be a, a double with one out for Wellington Castillo. Yeah, Tim Anderson's up. So, we got to be careful here. Definitely has got some pop off the bat. He's going to pop it up to second, though. And that double by Castillo is not going to matter. Top of the third. Here we go. Alrighty, 0-2 to Soler. Get some decent contact on it. A bobble. Can he beat it out? He does. And we get our leadoff hitter. Okay, we get our leadoff hitter on base. An error by Yolmer Sanchez. So, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a poorly hit ball. It's just... Definitely should be an easy play for Yolmer Sanchez that Sanchez at second. Now we got Billy up. This time it gets by Wellington Castillo. The second time he's thrown a curve, kind of down. The first one blocked by Castillo. This time it gets away, and we got a guy on second. No outs. Okay. All right, takes a curveball outside. One zero count. Let's go, on to see. Come on. Swinging a hot bat today. I can feel it. That's going to get the run home. Is this going to be another double for Bondesi? It's not. But a pitch outside. The fastball outside. He just hits it that way. Goes with it. Hits it in the left field. And now two for two on the day. Mondesi's feeling good. And he sits on first with an RBI. Gives us the lead as well. It's perfect. Strikes him out. One, two, three inning. There we go, Brad Keller. That's a good inning for you. I like that. Josh Bell gets a hold of one, and I think that one's gone. There we go. Home run. Josh Bell, first pitch swinging. Pulls it down the line and hits his 25th home run of the season. First baseman's looking like an amazing addition for us. And uh, we're up three to one, courtesy of Josh Bell. And the north and south, a lot of pitchers working that elevated fastball and then breaking stuff. Off. Alex Gordon, does he add one to the tally? And he does another high pitch fastball up in the zone. And Gordon gets his eighth of the year. 
and our left fielder makes it a three-run ball game here in the fourth. Two solo shots for the Royals. Oh man, what an inning for us. Almost identical to the Do Josh Bell homer. Perfect inning for us so far. Alrighty, there we go. Hard hit ball to Mondesi, but it's going to be an out. Easy play for the shortstop. Whoa. Okay. We got a call for sure on that pitch. That pitch wasn't anywhere near the zone or where I wanted it. And because of that, he has to swing at the changeup outside the zone. Merrifield makes the play. And that's the inning. There we go. Second, second baseman showing some rain, showing off a strong arm. And we hold on to our three-run lead. Billy Hamilton slaps it through the gap there at short and third. We got a lead base runner on. Alrighty, 1-2 to Mondesi. And oh man, 3-for-3 three three day for the shortstop. That's what I'm talking about. Waits on the curveball. Just, just pulls that pitch through the, sh the little gap there in the infield. And man, a double, two singles. He's feeling it today. This is what I want to see from our shortstop. And oh, that's it for Reynaldo Lopez. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. That was, I literally, I just ran Duda out of an RBI opportunity. I held, uh, I held it down like to the left and for Mondesi to run, but I guess I guess it didn't recognize it, and now we just lost our runner at third. That's the inning. We just ran our oh, I just ran out of the inning like an idiot. Oh, that's annoying. Nice little change up inside, and he's just gonna hit that off the handle for a double or for a single. Oh, what? Wellington Castillo. Okay, I see you. I see you. That's a ball, huh? All right. Oh boy, Tim Anderson almost made it a one-run game. Yikes. All right, got to be careful there. That's a good slider. There we go. All right, so we've had two or three low pitches. Let's change it up. Let's go inside and up. High inside fastball gets him. Ooh, we had him handcuffed. Oh, you're joking me. And then he somehow, some way... Slaps a hit into left field. Oh, you got to be joking after all those pitches. He just slaps it into left. All right, Jose Abreu, one swing of the bat ties the game. It's getting a little, getting a little dangerous now. Not a bad slider. Not a bad slider. So one one count. Change up the speed. Oh, there we go. Nice little change up. Gets the ground out. Ends the inning. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Is that going to get down? It does. We do get the base hit with Billy. Mondesi's coming up three for three on the day too. So see if we make it four for four. Maybe get another extra base hit because any hit in the, in the gap scores Hamilton. No doubt about it. Off the end of the bat, a little early on it. It was a good pitch to hit. Probably was centered on it and everything, just a little early. He flies out to left, and that's our seventh. Basically, any base runner, and uh, he's done. But, oh, he gets the call on the inside corner. And Keller gets the strikeout. There we go. We're going to try to hit the same spot, just a little bit higher with the two seam. Get a little cutting action on it. Ooh, call, getting generous calls here on this right side of the plate. I like it. So, two strikes here. We're going to go with slider and away. And are you serious? Wellington Castillo is on one today. That was a slider well out of the zone. And he just reaches out there and slaps it into right field. So, I did say he was going to be done after, uh, after this. So, we're going to bring in Carl Edwards Jr., Grounded 
At least let's get the lead runner. We're not going to turn two here, but we do get the lead runner. Two outs now. Tim Anderson up. All right. Nice little cutter down in a way. Wasn't, didn't catch the zone. Didn't get the strike, but it was, it was, that's a good location. I'm okay with that. That kind of pitch. That's a good pitch right there. So 2-0 to Anderson. Just misses there. So, I mean, this at bat hasn't been terrible. I mean, the, the pitches aren't bad. Like, they've been good. That was probably the worst pitch. Ends up being a four-pitch walk. So, we're, we're still going to be careful. Got Yolmer up. For some reason, Edwards has no confidence just because he walked the batter. So, I don't understand that. But, two straight fastballs. Not too bad. Got to be careful here. That's a good cutter. A little bit too much of the zone, though. 0-2. Come on. Let's get him with the curve. Flies out to center, most likely, as long as Billy Hamilton makes the play. If he doesn't make the play, it's a one-run game. He does make the play. Top eight now. No run score. We still got that three-run lead. That's some good contact. Is that going to get down and right? It is. And that is going to be extra bases. A double for our second baseman, Whit Merrifield. Starts us off right here. In the top of the eighth inning. That was a great job of driving that ball. You don't even feel coming off the bat. In now, Lucas Duda. And Lucas Duda hits a two run bomb. Everyone's swinging a hot bat today. Lucas Duda with his 27th of the year. Lefty, lefty crime. And he makes it a five run game. So three lefties. Have gone deep today. Josh Bell. I guess he's a switch hitter. But he hit it well. He was batting lefty. Josh Bell. Alex Gordon. And Lucas Duda. Lucas Duda goes with that pitch. It was outside. Goes with it to left field. And he had a bomb there. 104 off the bat. Speaking of Josh Bell. He's up to the dish. And he gets good contact on that. But it's going to be a fly out to right center. Probably a little bit under it. Carl Edwards Jr. gets the out there. This time it's going to hit into left field. Daniel Polka is going to get a base knock. And they got their first runner of the eighth. Might switch it up. Might go to, uh, let's see, who they got up next. Switch hitters. You know what, we'll go to the, we'll keep we'll keep uh, Edwards in for this batter. And then we'll go to the lefty. We're going to see if we get this little cutter action going. Is that really going to drop? Are you serious? Oh, man. How, how is he going to wrap around that low outside pitch and dink it into left field there? Are you... What? Off the end of the bat. Okay. That's cool. That's not a good start. I don't understand why my pitchers are coming in with no confidence at all. That makes no sense to me. That... We're, we're winning the game by five runs. I understand there's a guy in first and second with only one out, but you're telling me that you're going to come in here with no confidence? This has, got, this has to be a bug that's going on because I don't understand what's going like why this would happen. I mean, we got the out. I'll take that, but this this shouldn't be happening when you have one out, first and second. You're winning the game by five. You're telling me that your pitcher's not going to have any confidence at all? <laughs> oh, they're going to really get down. All right, don't hustle or anything, Billy Hamilton. So it is now a three-run game after that jammed base hit. All right, we're bringing in Austin Bryce. Get us this last out in the eighth. That's a strike for sure. I don't understand why we didn't get that call there. Hangs the change up. It's going to get down. Oh, no. It's going to be a long single, but this is this is not good. They're coming back. They're slowly crawling their way back into the game. Wellington Castillo has just been a thorn in our side today. That's another strike. What? They're trying to let the CPU back into the game. No more runs, though. It is a three-run game heading into the ninth. Ooh, this is... It's getting a little... Getting a little dicey towards the end. I 
And that should be the third out. Moncada throws it to first. Mondesi beats it out on the broken bat. Like blooper. I don't know what you want to call that. That looks like it was a weekly hit ball. He got his bat broken. And he somehow, some way, gets on base. A four for five day for him. Alrighty, after the stolen base, we got Mondesi on second. He's going for third. That was ball four. Dang it. But, oh well. No run score, still a three run game. In comes our closer, Boxberger, to shut the door for us. He's been lights out for us in real in this. I know in real life he's been pretty bad, but we're gonna we're gonna see how he does here against the Sox. Inside slider goes outside, but that's okay. We still get the strikeout. Tim Anderson's having himself a pretty bad day at the plate. Yolmer's up. We start him off with a foul ball. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Change up, down and away. Ooh, we don't get the call on that one. All right. Let's go kind of up and in on him. Goes for the bunt. He's beating this one out. Yeah. Not even going to throw it. Yomer Sanchez bunts twice today. And each time he gets on. So, Jose Abreu can make it a one-run game with one swing of the bat. So, let's, uh, let's, be, let's be careful here. Ooh, we get that slider call. Okay. 0-2 now. Fastball up in the zone. And it's going to be a fly out to Soler. Camps out under it. Two outs. Perfect so far. We're, I mean, I know Sanchez got on, but it's still still a good inning for us. Daniel Polka's up. Ooh, just misses with that fastball. There it is. That's the game, and that's a good victory for us. Pitching was a little sketchy towards the end of the game. But it doesn't matter. We were able to get the win. A 6-3 victory for the Kansas City Royals. Keller pitched phenomenally. One run over, what was it, six, seven innings? Six and a third. I'll take that for sure. We were solid. Solid, solid, solid. Um, offensively. Three, three home runs. One by Alex Gordon. One by Josh Bell. One by Lucas Duda. And I like to see that. That was that was a good outing. Yeah. Six and a third for Keller. Seven hits, four strikeouts, one earned run. Reynaldo Lopez had a pretty tough outing. He did have six strikeouts, though. Wellington Castillo swung a hot bat for the Sox. Four for four. But, I mean, Mondesi, four for five for us. A double RBI and a run. Three RBIs for Lucas Duda. Josh Bell and Alex Gordon went one for four each. So, so far, I mean, uh, this was a good game for us. That was a good game for us. We just, we got to hold on to our divisional lead. And see how things go. So let's see next episode if we make the playoffs. I'm going to leave it here for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you go up into that right hand corner. Click that eye icon and vote in the poll. Um, and then we'll, we'll, get, we'll get going from there. Make sure you guys let me know if you guys want to see Bobby Witt Jr. in the poll. Yes or no. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.